we are going to see interview questions on java 8 and in this video we are going to cover static and default methods in interface and this is going to be a part one so for static and default methods in interface the first question is like why static and default methods are there in interface so obviously they are introduced in java 8 to enhance the functionality of interface but how does it enhance the functionality of interface you might already know that lot of enterprise level applications are developed using java and these enterprise level applications are quite big now suppose you are maintaining one of such big application where you have few interfaces which has hundreds of implementation classes and now you want to add one method into its implementation classes in java 7 or before right it was very difficult because you might have to go to all of its implementation class and add that method in each implementation class right but from java 8 you can just add a default method in interface and this will be inherited by all of its implementation class so this way java has provided a way to add default method to all of its implementation class just by writing that method in interfaces so that way the maintenance become easier and we can easily write some code in interface without breaking existing code so that is one of the reason and for static methods it provide a way to add utility method and also used as helper method for our default methods in interfaces and with the introduction to static and default methods there comes one problem as well and that problem is called as inheritance ambiguity some of us would also call it as inheritance diamond problem or diamond problem okay and we are going to see that ahead but before we jump into default and static method let's revise runtime polymorphism and method hiding now consider we have two classes bird class and a pigeon class where pigeon class is a child class of bird and we have one instance method in our bird class which is sound so obviously this method is going to be inherited in its child class right unless we are going to override it suppose we override this method sound that means bird class has its own implementation of sound and pigeon has its own implementation of sound method so here you see pigeon class has overridden the sound method so similarly bird class suppose has one static method print and also pigeon class has similar print method but these methods are not overriding they are called as method hiding okay suppose we are creating an object of pigeon class where new pigeon will create an instance in heap memory and we are calling an instance method sound so obviously when we are calling an instance method it will check what type of instance it is obviously this is an instance of pigeon so it will call the sound method from pigeon class and it will print coo similarly suppose we are creating an object of bird but we are creating an instance of pigeon into the heap memory okay and we are calling sound method on that right so obviously this is an instance method an instance method will always be called on actual instance object not the type of reference right so it will again go to pigeon class and we'll call the sound method till now i guess everything is all right now suppose you are trying to write pigeon in equal to new bird is it possible to write that no definitely not because child cannot hold parent object so this is out of picture now suppose we are creating a pigeon object with pigeon instance okay and we are calling print method but print method is a static method right and obviously we all know that static method should be called using class name right but here we are calling it using object name right so how does it work so the thing is java compiler is very clever and it knows that you are trying to call it on object but right when it compiles this java class it will change this object with the type of the object so what type of object is this this is a pigeon type of reference right so it will replace with pigeon dot print and it will compile the file okay. and when you run this file right it is going to call print a method of pigeon similarly if we create bird object but the actual instance it is pigeon right so in that case during compilation obviously during compilation no new objects or instances are created right we do not create anything in memory we just compile the project so definitely we will not going to consider instances here compiler is going to replace this reference with its reference type so the reference is here bird type right so it is going to replace it with bird dot print right during compilation and when we run the program it is going to call the method from bird class okay so to summarize here if we are calling static methods so these methods will always be called from the type of reference okay for example animal 
but if we are calling instance or default method they are always going to be called from which class the class that is on the right hand side which is the actual instance of an object okay now let's see static and default methods in interface so till java 7 we could write abstract methods and variables an abstract method is always going to be public method so when we declare method we do not need to write public because these are implicitly public okay and similarly for variables variables are always going to be public static and final so we don't need to write it there explicitly but from java 8 we are also able to write default and static methods into our interface and this is how the syntax for default and static method would look like static methods are like same as in as we write in class but default method starts with a new keyword default now let's consider we have an implementation class doc which implements an interface animal okay now obviously the abstract method that is declared in animal we need to write its implementation so here you see that we have written an implementation here for this and this doc class will compile fine and there is one more thing that this default method will be inherited into our doc class now suppose we create an instance of a doc class and we are calling d.sleep sleep is a default method or an instance method right what type of instance it is it is an instance of dog right so it will go and call the sleep method from the doc class and yes there is this method because this method is inherited from its parent and it will call this method similarly if we create animal object but the instance is a dog instance right and we call this method sleep so definitely it is going to call the inherited method right because it will go into dog class and will call the sleep method and this sleep method where it is coming it is coming from its parent as an inherited method so the summary is this default method is inherited into its implementation class and you have seen an example here right now suppose we override this method sleep here okay now in that situation this sleep method will not be inherited into dog implementation because dog has its own implementation of sleep method so now suppose we create an instance of a dog and we call sleep method so which method it is going to call obviously the overridden method it is going to call similarly if we have animal a equal to new dog it is an instance of dog although the type of an object is animal but we are calling instance method right so it is going to call an instance method of a dog class because our actual instance is dog so it is going to call the overridden method okay so yes we can override default methods now let's consider static methods okay and let's forget about default method for now now you see we have static method in animal class and we have static method in dog class right and you see here this static method in doc class is print which is being used in our implementation class right so here you can see our static method is used as helper method now suppose we have object of dog and we are calling d dot print which is obviously going to be replaced with dog dot print and it is going to call the method of dog class and if we write animal a equal to new dog this is a animal type of an object and this object is going to be replaced with animal dot print so here print method will be called from animal because we have seen the image earlier now with inheritance there is an ambiguity problem right because of default method now consider we have two interfaces animal interface and bird in interface and each of the interface has sleep method which is a default method and if you try to create a class which implements both of the interfaces right because in java we can in implement multiple interfaces right so java compiler will be confused right which method to inherit because both has its own implementation right this code is not going to be compiled and compiler will throw a compile time error which is unrelated default so you need to remember here that this situation the compiler will throw compile time in error so how do we solve this problem right so it's very easier you just write an implementation in pigeon class yourself right so if you override that sleep method in the pigeon class 
compiler will know that there is no need to inherit any of the methods because we, pgen class has already its own implementation right but suppose you want to call method of animal interface then how how would you do that you can simply write animal dot super dot sleep so your sleep method will call sleep method of animal interface right so that is the syntax so sometimes your interviewer can ask this syntax okay and similarly if we want to call bird default method then you can write bird dot super dot sleep okay so this is important now there are multiple variations so the first variation is you have animal class which has default method now you have two interfaces which you know extend the animal interface flyer interface and bird interface so obviously this default method is going to be inherited right in both of the interfaces now you try and create the pigeon implementation from flyer and bird interface so in that situation which method is going to be inherited or will compiler throw an error so java compiler is very clever and it knows that although they are two interfaces and each of them has its own inherited method this is actually only one method right and it will just simply inherit that method and will compile the class second variation suppose you have animal interface which has a default method and now you have bird interface which will definitely inherit the method but in the flyer interface we are writing our own default method and now we have pigeon class which implement both flyer and bird so in that case there are two default methods right in two classes so which method compiler will inherit right or will compiler throw an error the surprising thing is java will inherit the method which is closer to pigeon class like which is at shortest distance so this method is at the shortest distance because the method here in the bird class is inherited from animal so this is method this method is coming from animal to bird and then to pigeon right but here it is coming directly from flyer to pigeon right so that's why i guess it's going to be inherited i have tested that code on java 11 and this is how it is working so when you try to write animal a equal to new pigeon and we call a dot sleep obviously it is going into pigeon class and we'll check for sleep method so obviously the sleep method is de there because it is inherited from flyer interface it will print sleeping and home so these are two variations i think that is it for static and default method thank you